Um, uh, anything else you want to add before we go? Anything else you want to talk about? Anybody want to call into the show? Call the fuck in or try one more time. <laughs> yes, even though we're having our ratchet show, <laughs> um, you can still try to call in. Um, this is probably this is like the most ratchet show we've ever done to date. You know what I need to do? What I need to do? I have a mixing board, and and I've been trying to do it through Skype because it's easier. But I just need to put the Skype calls on my iPad or my uh, laptop, and then feed that into the a different channel on the uh, mixer board, and that mm-hmm. way I can control it directly without having to rely on fucking software. That way we can hear both sides, and so I'll do that next time. That way we'll have, be able to take phone calls properly. Everybody who's listening, so. Cool. Um, just just a quick thing. Jared Fogel, the subway guy, was sentenced yeah. to fifteen years in prison prison for his child pornography case. Honestly, I feel like he should have got more, but you know, court system. The court says that he's you know should get fifteen years. So was it just? I didn't think it was just uh, child pornography. I thought he actually had sex with some some kids. Yeah, I think he did like a sixteen year old or a fifteen sixteen year old yeah. or something like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 some shit. Um. What do you think about that, though? I mean, isn't there – see, this is the kind of the fine line to me, and I've talked about this before on my own show before, but uh, the Off Limits show on Sundays. No, I'm kidding. Um, but I, I think – Go ahead and plug in your show. <laughs> Might as well. Uh, but I, no, I, mean, I, I, I think that um, – <laughs> isn't there – what's the difference – okay, this is what I'm trying to say. I think it's gross and despicable if a an adult – molest a child because they can't they don't really have the ability to um consent so and it's also if they're 16 yeah yeah i think they it's just wrong right? i'm not saying it's right let me let me be clear before we get some hate mail just because a person's 16 i'm not saying that you know just because they can consent that means it's okay i'm not saying that i'm just saying that if both parties agree, right. then you know, it could possibly happen. I'm not saying it's right. Well, no, that's what I'm trying to get to, though, is this is the, this is the delicate question. Because when I was 15, I was having sex with men who were 22 years old, 23 years old. And that was all by choice, and I was perfectly fine with it. And I liked older men then. I like older men now. I've always liked older men. So it's never been an issue for me. And so I didn't feel like I was being molested because it was a sexual thing. And it was a – you know what I mean? It, was a, it wasn't anything like, oh, come here, little boy. Let me give you some candy. It wasn't yeah. like that. It was, you know, it was a totally – a, a mutual thing so um but other people will say well i was molested because i was under under the age of consent at the time but i wasn't molested i was doing what i wanted to do so to me there's a difference between uh not wanting to have sex with someone who's older than you uh who and you're underage and then wanting to so i personally would never have sex with someone that young because i'm not into young people anyway um it, even if i were i wouldn't because it's just like a bad thing to do so my question is is if he had sex with a 16 year old and he or she consented to it should he go to jail for that that's my question legally he should but i mean morally but it it depends what the age of consent is in the, the state states, the state let's say let's say they were 16 and the age of consent was 16 Oh God! You go try to get me in trouble. I'm not. <laughs> I'm just trying to. This I mean, is an interesting question. I thought no, no. The answer would be no. If they both agree to it, right? And the age of consent is 16, then no. Because me growing up, I, I was you know a similar situation as well. I was 16 and having sex with men who was like you know 25, 26, 30 years old. But I mean, I lied about my age and told them I was you know 18. So. You know, I mean, I never lied about and, my age, so. <laughs> well, I mean, well, I did, yeah, but that's good. You know, but my thing is that I, I mean, it was consensual though. Even if they would have found out that I was really sixteen instead of eighteen, I mean. <clears throat> but would that have been? That's what I'm saying. To me, the law, the law is one thing. Morality is another. And sometimes they're they're on the same page, and sometimes they're not. And like, there's been instances, like for example, of course, we've heard about where kids who are like eighteen years old go to the same high school. And the other kid is 16 years old, and they're dating, and they have sex. They break up, and the, the mom or dad doesn't like uh, the 16-year-old or whatever, doesn't like the 18-year-old, and they, they have them thrown in jail for statutory that's stupid. rape. Now, when, pa- when parents do that kind of shit, that's fucking stupid because when they were dating, you didn't have a problem with them. Exactly. Well, even if now, they did, even if they did, they didn't say anything until after they were broken up. I mean, that's ridiculous. Exactly. That, when, when parents do that kind of shit, that's, that's, that is the ultimate – like you're just trying to get back. You're just trying to do something to to be like, oh well, I'll show you type deal, right. you know, and, and that type of thing. It's like, I mean, because you're right. I've, there there have been plenty of stories out here in this world where an 18 year old has dated a 16 year old. They've had consensual sex. Yes. The parents have known about it. Yes. And then as soon as they break up, 
mm-hmm. or whatever the case may be, and the girl's heart is broken because this guy decided to move on to another girl, then you know, like you know, I'm you know, I'll show you, I'm gonna ruin your life type deal. It's like, like she'll move, on, like she'll be okay. There are plenty of men out here, well, plenty of boys out here. It's like, <laughs> like stop. I hate it when not saying that all parents do this but you do have a small percentage of parents that do this kind of shit right and it's like and now i'm like you are willing to fuck up someone else's life based on the fact that exactly they woke up and not only that it's there they have to register if they get out as a sex offender for the rest of their lives exactly and they can't get a job and they can't i mean it literally ruins their life in many ways uh, just because they had sex with someone consensually in the same age group, even, and that they, they knew went to high school with, and that was perfectly fine before they turned 18 themselves. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, but since mommy and daddy had, you know, a fucking stick up their ass, then they were like, well, you know, I'm going to show you. And then now you've ruined this person's life. But don't you think that that's oh. what I'm saying? Don't you think the fucking law should catch up with what the reality of the situation is and not? Because there are some states that have what's called the Romeo and Juliet law, where um, if they are within a four, four year ra- age range, like 16 mm-hmm. to 20 or whatever, and they're all they can that they're absolved of any kind of um, statutory rape charges because they consider them to be the same peer group, especially if they knew each other at the same school or whatever. So that makes sense to me. Um, like so certain states have that, but most states don't. Um, so I just think it's wrong to ruin someone's life over something like that. I think people in America are so stupid. We're about sex and like so uptight about sex and just like sex is, just, oh my God, and they're so puritanical. It's just, it annoys the <laughs> fuck out of me. It does. And you go to Europe, I mean, there, it's like there are women with their titties out on the beaches and men with their dicks <laughs> hanging out and, and their kids are around them. And it's just the body's not something to be ashamed of there. I, I, but I've always said that America is too modest. It's like, it is. <laughs> you know, it's one of those things to where it's like, you know, you see a guy, you know, walking out shooting with his underwear on and people call the police on him. I know. And or, or something like that. I'm like. What's the he difference was between like, that? We're all born naked, so it's like I don't understand why. But why is underwear different than a swim trunk anyway? You know I, what I, I mean? Don't know. Why uh, is that different? Who the fuck knows? I'm just, it's just, it's just that's what I'm saying. It's so fucking stupid. It doesn't make any logical sense. It's so dumb. Uh, it is. It is. I, I don't. People in America need to need to get real and loosen up. It's they like they get the stick too, out of their asses. They're, they're too. They're too politically correct, and it's like. I've said that my entire life. I said I feel like some America is too politically correct when it comes to a lot of things. Yeah. And it's like, just stop. Get to stick out your ass. and Or maybe they need to stick up their ass. Maybe that's the problem. <laughs> well, what, what, whatever suits them. Uh, whatever, <laughs> whatever, whatever is best for them. If you want <laughs> in there or if you want to pull it out. Yeah. Oh, and like you go to a movie, though. You know, movies like uh, get an R rating or an at NC-17 rating or X rating, depending upon whether you're showing um, a woman's chest, you know, her breasts versus mm-hmm. and nipples exposed versus a man's penis, uh, flaccid penis. Yeah. So, I mean, so if a man's penis is flaccid, then it's NC-17 sometimes and not always, but sometimes. And then if it's a woman's breast, so what's like a double standard about that too? Why is a man's penis such a big deal? I think, you know what I think it is? Because we live in a patriarchal society. A lot of heterosexual men are in, are insecure about their, their manhood. And so they don't want to see some man's penis on the screen bigger than their own. They're so if it's, it. okay, so if it's a flaccid penis, they consider it NC-17. Not always, but, but it, it, it tips towards that direction. It, it can be an R, but a hard R instead of like a, you know, an NC-17. But if, it, if it's an erect penis, then it's rated, I'm assuming it's, it's either, X-rated? It's either, it's usually X-rated. It can be an NC-17, but usually it's X-rated, yes. So, oh. but why is it, I don't know. I mean, I guess that's what I'm saying. A, a hard penis is like such a horrible thing. I don't know why, but it's, to me, it's just like a horrible thing. <laughs> and when it's a woman's vagina or a woman's uh, tits and she has hard nipples, then it's okay. But if a guy's dick is hard, then uh uh-uh, no, nope, can't have that. So I don't know. I think okay. it's stupid. The, yeah, I don't, I don't get it either. Okay, so here's another thing. This is just something that popped up on my computer last night. Um, I was on, I guess I can credit the, the website, World Star Hip Hop. I'm sure a lot of people, a lot of you have heard of this. So I'm going through this, and there was a video. Now, I don't know if this is true. Well, I guess it was real. Somebody recorded it. But they had a class. I don't think it was here. I think it was in another country. But teaching women how to squirt. 
You mean to have a, a orgasm that like a wet. squirting orgasm? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. And I was like, I don't think that's real. <laughs> yeah, it's real. Women squirt when they have. They can squirt. not. But I mean, it was squirting like yeah, like like a fire hose, like like a dick would be squirting or whatever. Yeah, but yeah. I was. I didn't think that would happen. I was like. If I wasn't, I was like, okay, clearly this woman's just pissing on herself and just sh- <laughs> just shooting out with force. But uh, they say that that happens. But I does. was like, well, you, and it was like a ton of it. I was like, if I was a woman and it, whatever they use or do to make that happen, I would have that gland removed. <laughs> it was so much of it, and it was so. I mean. I was like, that is gross. It's not gross if you're a straight guy or a woman or you're into women if you're a lesbian or whatever. Look, okay, listen to me. If I was a straight man and I was having sex with a woman who squirts like that, when we get finished, I don't want to. I don't want to get a mop and bucket and mop up the fucking floor. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, there was so much of it. They had to get a mop out. I no. That doesn't no. sound real to me. If it's that much, I mean, seriously, if it's that much, that doesn't sound real to me. Although it doesn't mean it's not. I mean, you know that a, a clitoris is essentially a penis. You know that, right? Well, I, yes, I'm aware of that. No, I'm me. just saying. So I'm saying it's not. It's not abnormal for it to squirt out like that. I'm gay, but I'm not that. Gay. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. I think some. I think some uh, women shoot more than than others probably that's probably what it is it was it just looked weird to me well any vagina looks weird to me so it doesn't matter what <laughs> vagina it is it looks bizarre and gross i mean i just watched out of curiosity but i was just like i was like I, I, and then i was like well maybe they you know maybe they have like some plastic bags shoved up their vagina and they're just squirting using it their out. kegel muscles well, to squirt. Porn, i don't know was it a porn I, movie I or a documentary no this is like a video that someone shot on their cell phone Oh so, yeah, this is like this. No, this wasn't like you know Discovery Health. <laughs> this was like someone in a room. There was an instructor. There was a girl who was uh, like demonstrating it or whatever. And there was a guy recording on his phone with like a few other people in the room, and she was like squirting. And I was like, I was like, I don't know about this. Well, that is the very last thing I thought we would ever discuss on tonight's show is female <laughs> <Squirting>. ejaculation. <laughs> just, we got to get the phone lines up because I need a woman to explain this to me as well. <laughs> well, what we'll do is next time um, I'll have everything I need to uh, route it to my thingamajig and we'll, we'll have it set up next time. So we'll be good to go next time. If you want to call in next time, you can call in and I promise it'll work. Uh, sorry about the technical difficulties tonight. Sorry we're missing Christian tonight for he had a, an event because he's so important. So we had to uh, wait for him to do his thing. Um, But we'll be back with him and with Jason and myself next week on Tuesday. What is next Tuesday? Tuesday, the 1st of December, December 1st. Oh, my God. The year is almost fucking over. Jesus Christ. I know. I know. Uh, This year has really flown by. Like, it really, really has. It has. I didn't even know. I mean, it's like it seems like yesterday it was summer or whatever. But, yeah, it's almost done. Um, Anyway, so we'll be back next week. We thank you for listening. If you want to find out more about Jason, you can go to... You can follow me on Twitter, which is Jason B. Like. It's Jason underscore B, B E underscore Like. And all the Christians not here, you can go to ChristianAlexanderFashion.com. I think that's what it's called. And you mm-hmm. can uh, find out more about him and myself. You can always go to OffLimitsShow.com and find out more about me there. And you can um, follow us on um, Spreaker. You can go to the website, GayXYZ.com, and you can listen to the show there live. You can also uh, download or listen to our show on uh, iTunes mm-hmm. and uh, through podcast and through your Apple TV or whatever. And also, that's and it. be sure to spread the word about our show. Make sure you go out and just sing them on the mountaintops. Yeah, and you can, and- you can, you can also tweet us at gayxyzshow.com, uh, gayxyz on Twitter. So be sure to go there, and also our Facebook page. Like us there as well, gayxyz, uh, and we will be happy to uh, follow you back. So thanks for listening, everybody. We'll be back next week. Sorry for the ratchet show, but. We yes. should be back to normal next week. <laughs> yes. Happy, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye, everybody. Good night. Bye.